First of all, we have to make 0.5% chicken RBC from the collected blood. The procedure starts by washing the RBC three times with phosphate buffer solution or any other isotonic solution. Here we have added PBS to the collected blood and have taken the same amount of distilled water in another falcon tube to maintain balance during centrifugation. After centrifugation, we dispose the clear fluid on top. Then again, we have to add PBS to the pellet remaining at the bottom. And then centrifuge it. We repeat this procedure three times. Finally, this is the washed RBC that we are looking for. To make 20 ml 1% chicken RBC, we have to take 19.8 ml PBS and 0.2 ml RBC. To make things easier, we are taking 20 ml PBS from which we will discard 200 microliters of PBS to make room for 200 microliters of RBC. This is our 1% RBC and now we are ready to do the HA test. First, we take a 96 well microtator plate. Then we are taking 50 microliters of PBS in 12 of those wells. Then we have to perform a two-fold dilution of the sample. For this test, we used Newcastle disease virus. First, we'll take 50 microliters of the sample in the first well and mix it thoroughly. Then, we will transfer 50 microliters of this mixture to the second well. We have to keep doing this till the last well and at the end from the last well we will discard 50 microliters of the mixture. After the serial dilution of the virus we have to add 50 microliters of RBC to each well. Now we will allow the plate to stand for 30 to 45 minutes before checking the result. Here the first 6 wells without any buttoning are positive and the remaining 6 wells with buttoning are negative. The first negative well is usually considered 1 HA unit. Here it is shown by a green circle. The well next to it is 2 HA unit. Here it is shown by blue circle. And the next one is 4 HA unit, shown by yellow circle. 